Hello everyone, how to find the square root of this nice algebraic term, algebraic expression. So we have 90 multiplied by 91 multiplied by 92 multiplied by 93 plus 1 and its whole square root. So we find the value of this square root. So here first, uh, the very first step we are going to do is first we rewrite this algebraic uh, expression as square root of we have this is 90 multiplied by this is 91 and we write this 91 as 90 plus 1 this is 92 we write it as 90 plus 2 this is 93 we write it as 90 plus 3 and plus 1 so this is uh, thus uh, we simplify or we expand this term in this way and you see here each of these term will involve 90 so that now we take here x is equals to 90 so if you take x equals to 90 then you substitute all of the 90s equals to x so that our above expression will be written as x into x plus 1 into x plus 2 into x plus 3 and plus 1 and here we just need to simplify this expression so here we have another uh, a nice very important fact which we can apply here in order to rearrange all of these factors so if you have uh, some factors which are multiplied by each other in this form uh, x plus a into x plus b into x plus c into x plus d and plus k if you have some uh, expression in this way so now uh, how we uh, rearrange all for all of these four factors so uh, you just check that the value which you add here you add any two numbers uh, then you get the equal answer it means that if you add a and b the sum of a plus b is equals to the sum of c plus d okay so this is the very simple fact uh, in order to simplify or multiply all of these factors okay uh, so here you see that here uh, our first uh, first target is to rearrange these four factors so we have this is x but we uh, write this x as x plus zero so now you see here if you add 0 plus 1 it is equals to 1 but if you add 2 plus 3 it is equals to 5 so these two are not equal but here if you add 0 plus 3 it 0 plus 3 is equals to 3 we write it here uh, in our problem 0 plus 3 equals to this is 1 plus 2 so 0 plus 3 is 3 and 1 plus 2 is also 3 so now you make the pair of x with x plus 3 and you make the pair of x plus 1 with x plus 2 okay so this is the nice method uh, in which you uh, rearrange the above factors okay in order to further solve the problem but if you multiply uh, this term anyway uh, so you uh, you get the more typical cal calculations okay so here we rearrange the terms and we write it as in this form uh, square root of uh, we make the pair of x with x plus 3 okay we write it as x into x plus 3 and the other two pairs are x plus 1 into x plus 2 so we have x plus 1 into x plus 2 and plus 1 so now you multiply these two pairs and these two pairs as well so we write it as square root of this is x times of x becomes x square x times of 3x equals to 3x into we multiply these two pairs so x times of x equals to x square and x times of 2x becomes 2x 1 times of x becomes x 1 times of 2 becomes 2 and this is plus 1 so further we need more simplifications uh, so that uh, now we rewrite this expression as in this form x square plus 3x into x square plus this is 2x plus x becomes 3x and this is 2 and 
plus one okay you see here these two terms will become same so this is only when and uh, these uh, factors are multiplied by correct way okay if you make some mistake in to rearrange all of these factors then you cannot get these two values are same but these two values should be must should must be same okay and so in order to uh, further solve this problem with easy way otherwise you can again get the typical and dif difficult calculations okay so that uh, now here uh, we just take uh, these two terms is equals to y so we take here y is equals to x square plus 3x so now we replace uh, both of these values equals to x and it will be written as y into this is a uh, y plus 2 and this is plus 1 so here we need to multiply this y on both of these terms so when you multiply this y with y it will becomes y square and y times of 2 becomes 2y and plus 1 okay so here further we need another nice uh, algebraic identity so according to this algebraic identity uh, we rewrite this expression as in this form square root of we have y square plus this is two times of y and we write it as two times of y into one plus this is one square okay so you know about uh, this uh, algebraic identity if we have a plus b whole square equals to a square plus two times of a b plus b square okay so you if you compare this value here then you get a square plus two times of a b plus b square so our a is y a is y b is one this is b is one so now you um, you convert this uh, term this side with this so we write this into the combination co combined form so we write it as in this way square root of uh, y plus 1 and its whole square so you see that this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here only y plus 1 and now here we need to move backward so you see here we take the y equals to x square plus 3x and now we need to substitute uh, value of y here so it will become x square plus 3x plus 1 okay so here we uh, substitute the value of x so now if we need uh, to move more backward so in the start of the problem we will take here x equals to 90 so now we substitute this value of x here okay so you see that we substitute x is equals to 90 it will be written as 90 square plus 3 times of 90 and plus 1 so here we need to uh, find the 90 square so here in order to find the 90 square you write just 9 square equals to 81 and you double these zeros here okay so this will become 8100 and this is 3 times of 0 becomes 0, 3 times of 9 becomes 27 and plus 1. So now here in uh, order to uh, add these numbers, you just use the uh, traditional method of addition and you easily add all of these numbers and you get here 8371. So this is the required simplified form of the given question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.